These things were done that the scripture might be fulfilled. You shall not break a bone of him. And again, another scripture said, They shall look on him whom they pierce. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. We, this feast of the Sacred Heart which we have today sums up the mysteries the mysteries of our Lord that we have celebrated since the beginning of the new um, liturgical year, the joyful, the sorrowful, and the glorious mysteries of our Lord's life, this uh, life that was devoted to the love of God and the love of man. So this is the feast of the love of God for men. Remember, he is truly God and truly man. And we see here, uh, we, we, we can trace the, the manifestation of this love that made our Lord to come down. He, God, became man through the mystery of the incarnation. All right. And then for our redemption, he was lifted up on the cross. Okay, and then to redeem all of us, all men, and then in the mystery of the transubstantiation, he is brought down on our altars daily throughout the world. Okay, and so we see today we, we contemplate all of this mystery as we contemplate the heart, the heart that was burning with love, the love that inspired God to, to make all of this possible for us. Our Lord showing his heart to St. Margaret Mary said, Behold the heart that has loved men so much. Think about his love in the incarnation. Think about his love in the redemption. Think about his love in the transubstantiation. Of course, the heretics, Protestants, refuse to accept the mystery of transubstantiation. And of course, the modernists following their footsteps have have also re refused that mystery, aligning themselves with Protestant theology, even though the whole gullible Catholics um, uh, uh, hold them to, to, to ransom, pretending that they sit, uh, hold to the same mystery and forcing them to worship um, a bare bread. But no, today, contemplating the heart of Christ, think about his, his love for each and every one of us in this mystery of, of, of the transubstantiation in which he is made present, really present for us, right? To be with us as a promise till the end of time. Behold a heart that has loved men so much. You see his love, how you, you, we experience his love, see him through his life as the friend of the poor, the counselor of the afflicted, okay, the healer of the sick, the good shepherd in search of his of his sheep even today. The, he, you see him his his, his heart um, in at work in the agon in the garden on the way of the cross carrying his cross when he was raised high on the cross. You see. Today we are. Saint Paul says in the in the in the in the episode that we that what he desires that each of us be rooted and founded, okay, in charity. This faith is to help us to be rooted and founded in charity, so as to comprehend the four dimensions of the love of Christ: the breadth and the length, the height and the depth of this love. To know that charity which is which is beyond all knowledge that, uh, that you can think about in this world. So our Lord has manifested to us the height of his love on the cross. Okay? And then the depth of that love is seen in the tabernacle. Of course, that the Protestant cannot understand, neither the modernist. So this, this heart that has loved meant so much, what does it receive from them in return? Our Lord complained to St. Margaret Mary, say that this heart receives from them in exchange nothing but coldness and indifference and sin. Coldness, indifference and sin. Of course, 
the whole modernist um, religion is built upon indifference indifference and coldness not uh, understanding the greatness of this charity and being carried away by worldly opinions worldly um, falsehood and of course because of this lack of the, the the right faith lack way of right way of thinking you see how the the, the the system is soaked in all sort of things all right the 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 positively um, promote sin so to say well for each and every one of us how have we showed coldness and indifference to the love, the warmth of the love of the sacred heart of our Lord. Imagine a love unacknowledged. You see yourself turning your back on the divine love, all right? Seeking satisfaction from creatures. Oh, that what 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 level of coldness and indifference is that? So, the essence of devotion to the sacred heart therefore is what that of reparation this is a serious obligation for each and every one of us all right that you have to make reparation for your many and grievous sins the sins of others caused by you all right and then the sins of uh, and then make reparation for sinners in general good enough today is um first first friday and so be generous in spending your time with our our lord all right in trying to make out of reparation for your sins and also the sins of those who, that were, were caused because of you and the sins of sinners in in in, in all now our lord tells told saint margaret mary love me at least you this is addressed to each and every one of us. He says, love me at least you. Hear him speaking to you that you don't be uh, drawn into the indifference of the day and coldness. No, learn to love our Lord. Okay? And he, the, the, the ultimate goal of the devotion to the sacred heart our Lord desires is what? is to lead us to an exchange of love for love. He has loved us so much and he desires that we give him back love in return. He desires to bind us to a pact, a pact of love, to unite us with him in, in a truly lasting life of love. Think about all of these points. He said, love me, at least you. Take that seriously. So. Think about this salutary subscription, all right? Uh, people subscribe today to merit many things, data, all of that, and all of that. But no, that gets exhausted. It according to your to to the to the amount of money you you you, you invest in it. But this this salutary subscription is eternal, okay? And to what is this sub subscription? To subscribe to this pact of divine love. Which divine love to exchange love for love? Well, dear faithful, subscribe to this pact of divine love and never be a traitor to your agreement. All right? Never be a traitor to your agreement. And ask today the grace from our Lord to help you to be true to your pact, the pact of divine love, so that having comprehended the depth of his love for you in the tabernacle and the height of it on the cross, your, your, your daily life will be that of continual song of love to the glory of God and your own salvation. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.